Hey guys, welcome back to Vertice Models. Today we're painting Tech Priest Dominus. I've already done the white highlight, so the first color we're starting out with is Lava Orange. And as you can see with the white undertone, this color shines a whole lot brighter. And we're just working on basing his, uh, his cloak. Not too worried about getting it on anything else, as this will get based later. That's what he's looking like now. The next we'll be using Phoenix Flames. And we're just highlighting the lava orange on the bottom of his robe. I really like the way this color looks with the lava orange. It blends well and it also adds a, uh, a highlight to it. I'm just hitting the bottom of the robes and the top of his hood, like the front of his hood. So that's it for the airbrush. Next we're going to be using plate mail metal. And we'll be basing all, all his armor pieces. So everything on his back, his staff. Uh, each of his guns and the claws that are underneath his cloak that he walks on. Not too worried about getting it on the pipes or anything because we'll be painting that next. That's what he's looking like with the plate mail metal on all his armor and his weapons. Next we'll be using matte black and we'll be basing the handles on the staff, uh, all the corrugated pipes, uh, his face underneath his hood will be black. The, uh, underneath his arms, the, the ends of his sleeves will be black, the inside of his sleeves. And all the corrugated pipes on him. And that's what he's looking like after the black has been applied. Uh, I painted the playing? canisters up top no, black, which you'll up. see later whenever I go to put a, a highlight on them. What I'll do with that, but that's what he's looking like so far. Next we'll be using mummy robes. And we're painting the ends of his sleeves. They have a um, trim on them as well as his uh, collar around his neck and I'll be using mummy robes as well to do the, uh, the servo skull on his, on his back. Shame on you, you macho shithead. Yeah. I'm just getting the inside of his sleeve there. And that's what he's looking like after that. We got the skull on his sleeves, the collar around his neck. And the 
skull as well. There's some parts of that that is uh, plate metal metal. So the next color we're using is uh, brain matter beige. It's like an off-white with a green tint to it. I'll be using that for his skin color. I haven't used this color before, but it looks cool. It's like a zombified skin tone. And that's what he's looking like. I think that's it for basing. And then next we'll be washing. So the first wash we'll be using is dark tone, and we're just applying this to all the plate mail metal. Not too worried about it getting on the black. load your brush up and dump it on and move it around you know spread it out dry your brush off soak some up move it to another spot you got a lot of work time with washes so you can get it how you like it that's what he's looking like after the dark tone next we'll be using flesh wash one of my favorite washes it was it looks cool over white or I mean anything browns and we're just using this on his sleeves the collar everything we did the uh, mummy robes as well as the skull and you can see there I was just you know laying it down wherever it puddles you know I can just soak it up move it around until it's nice and even do the same thing to the skull the next tone we'll be using is green tone and we're using this on the uh, brain matter beige as it already has a green tint to it, this will just be adding to the effect. I do a light coat on it, I don't want to make it too dark. But this will just help as an accent. Yeah, I soak a lot of that up and move it around to the back side. That's what he's looking like now. All washed up. And then I'll be using dark stone and I'll be applying it to his robe as a, uh, a shadow in the creases of his robe. So I'll just be airbrushing, you know, all the, the uh, wrinkles in his robe. And this is really cool because it, it not only creates shadow on your model, but it blends it in, you know, if you're using an airbrush. You know, I'm just doing light pumps on it, you know, in between each of these raised points. And I like the way it adds more depth to my character that I'm painting. The dark stone looks really good over that bright orange we're just hitting the side of his hood on his head and just short little bursts you know you don't want it too opaque or it'll stand out and it'll break up you know what you've made with the fade with the uh, lava orange and the phoenix but this is just like an undertone you know I just like the way it looks. You know, we're hitting uh, the back pieces, each of those little creases on his robes. And 
and that's what he's looking like now. As you can see, it just gives it a lot more depth. Next, we'll be using Shining Silver, and we're just dry brushing this over the uh, the washed plate mill. You know, you can you can be as liberal as you want with it. Apply as much of it as you want. I just like to you know hit those raised areas and the uh, the dome pieces. You know, I like to create that sheen with the Shining Silver. And those three, those three colors together make a really good metal. You know, plate metal metal is a good base with the dark tone wash with the shining silver highlight. And that's what he's looking like after that. So next we'll be using mummy robes and I'm basically doing the under highlight for my glows so I'll be painting all the lenses with this color uh, and I'll be uh, creating highlight spots on the canisters on his back there's two canisters the rectangle and the sphere I'm wanting to make it look like there's some glowing liquid in them so I'll create a white line across there and whenever it's airbrushed it'll create that glowing liquid effect in it. The reason I want it to be a matte black is whenever I airbrush the overspray will get casted on that matte black and so you know I'm trying to in essence make it look like it's glowing so it'll create two different tones where the white will be is the glow you know the area where it glows the most and so the black, you know, counteracts that. And that's what he's looking like, you know, with the the mummy robe base. And we'll be using Kraken skin as our, our glow color. So we're just hitting everywhere where we applied the mummy robes just now. You know, the eyes on his face, the uh as you can, yeah, you can see whenever I start applying that Kraken skin on the canisters. You know, since it's that like that stark contrast light and dark you know you can see all that makes it look like there's some glowing liquid in there and we'll be doing the same thing to the lenses on the side of his hood on the uh, little survey skull and his weapons Yeah, I really like the way that looks. That's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I made a base for him, and you'll see the pictures here in a minute. But this is made, or this is painted with exclusively Army Painter, and I'll have a link in the description if you want to get any any of these paints. Uh, on this model, I used a lot of you know various range of colors and a lot of new colors that I haven't used before. Like the Kraken skin, I only used on a Plague Marine before in the last video, but I really like this color. I'll be using it a lot in some more videos. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.